with the most basic parts of uh, PHP functioning explained, we can now move on to some more interesting parts like recursive functions and arrays. A classical example of a recursive function is the Fibonacci numbers. So just go and Google it to find some more information. Hop, there is a Wikipedia entry, why not? And well, it's all kind of information that it's used for finding some markets, it seems. Okay, but uh, interesting to our exercise is uh, what the sequence of the Fibonacci numbers are. Fibonacci number of zero is zero, Fibonacci number one is one, Fibonacci two and all uh, other numbers is a combination of previous Fibonacci numbers. So in this case, Fibonacci of two is going to be one, like here. Fibonacci of three is two, Fibonacci of 4 is 3, Fibonacci of 5 is 5, Fibonacci of 6 is 8, and so on, okay? So if I ask the Fibonacci of 10, I should get 21. Let's try that in our exercise. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to create a function called fib, and I'm going to say, give me Fibonacci of 20, and it should tell me what it is, okay? I need to create a function, function fib, and it takes, oops, not bip, <laughs> fib, and it takes an index showing value. So now we need to figure out if it's zero, one, or anything bigger. So we do an if. If index is equal to zero, equal is twice equal because the once equal is already used to assign something so if you do this you're assigning index now we are checking if index is equal to zero if it is equal to zero I'm gonna return zero notice that I am um, jumped in one more so you see that function over here is on the uh, has no uh, tap this is one tap this is two taps in many cases, there, there, there will actually be an explanation how to structure this, but this is kind of called a scope, right? So um, you, you try to get not in too many scopes, but this will make the, the code more readable. So what you see is that if the index is equal, your function stops over there. But if you, so normally we have an else case and do stuff, but because we have already here said that if it is it, you need to return, you actually don't need the else case because it's always the else case in when you get here, right? So we do if the same index is equal to one, we return one. And in all the other cases, what do we need to do in all the other cases? So it's not zero or not one, we need to say that it's equal to fib minus one and fib minus two and that's exactly what we need to write so return fib index minus one plus fib index minus two. Oh, forgot the dollar sign you see that it's red it's not a variable now it is a variable there you go. So uh, this this is exactly our FIP number. And what is the recursion? Well, you see over here, you define the function, but inside the body, you actually use the function, which is kind of, can be a dangerous part in your programming because you can get into an infinite leaf loop. But in this case, you know that your index is always going to be become, so your index needs to be bigger Right? We could, for example, do a test like uh, if uh, index is smaller than zero, uh, return, return error. Right? Because, of course, we don't want our index to be smaller than zero. Okay, that's a small test. So, if, with, with this given, I know that this will never get into an infinity loop. So let's try it. What is a FIP of 20? Back over here. It still has our previous solution. 
and now it says whoa is that correct well, i don't know let's just try a smaller number like 10 and get to our local host and it says 55 55 is this 10 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exactly 55 so if i want to give this whole array that's going to be more interesting and i'm going to talk about arrays right away but first i want to give you another um feeling of uh, how uh, recursion can be applied because at this moment I'm using recursion when I use the function that's not yet defined in my function but actually it doesn't need to end there what you can do is you can actually use a function that hasn't been defined yet right you can use a function that hasn't been defined yet the problem is that what once you uh, once your program is at that spot and tries to run the function and it wasn't defined at that moment it will actually give an error but when you write the code you can actually just say like well you go to somewhere else and you see if there's somewhere else we're gonna see in later exercises you can actually use that uh, that you get an error when you didn't define it yet but now let's try another function what we're gonna do is we create a function even and a function uneven by simply checking against one and a simple minus so how do you do that we're going to use nested functions so we're going to say function even it takes a number number, number. Mm, x <laughs> lazy okay and i say if x is equal to one is it even no return return i'm gonna return a string oh uh, if it's equal to two i'm gonna return true that's basic right don't forget this okay and in all other cases I'm gonna say that even is equal to return uneven x minus 1 that should be the same right don't need it well you can have white space if you want but you don't need it so that's basically it but the thing is that uneven is not yet defined right so what we do now is we just be lazy copy paste this return it so let's say if it's um two then it's false if it's one then it's true and then we say even hmm you see wait i need to say uneven here so now i have a function even that uses uneven and uneven that uses even right because i'm at this level now even and uneven are defined before you go into their body so when you get to uneven here your system already know that it exists and the same over here so let's try it now let's say um even seven is seven even it should give me a string say false and otherwise i made a mistake okay that's false yay and that should be true right and sim similar for uneven uneven eight is false uneven nine is true so what you can do is try to follow it right say like okay i give a nine an uneven so nine enters here it's not two it's not one okay i get even eight so i'll get even eight over here it's not one it's not two uneven seven uneven seven even six and so it it, it plays ping pong you see so but um this is just a stupid example but you can try to imagine in a more complicated case that uh, many functions are actually already used 
while they are not yet defined, like here, right? Okay. Now, 